Number 7. Jake Lloyd After starring opposite Arnold Schwarzenegger in Jingle All The Way, child actor Jake Lloyd rose to worldwide fame after he was chosen by director George Lucas to play young Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace. The 1999 movie was one of the most highly anticipated productions of its time, but many felt it hadn't lived up to expectations for various reasons, including character and storyline choices. Even though 8-year-old Lloyd won a Young Artist Award for his performance, a portion of the harsh criticism was aimed at his acting. He consequently went through a period of severe emotional turmoil. He was reportedly bullied at school and harassed by the press for his role in The Phantom Menace to such a degree that he soon decided to retire from acting. In March of 2015, when Lloyd was in his mid-twenties, the police were called to the Indianapolis home of his mother, Lisa Riley. She alleged that he'd arrived at her residence and verbally berated, then physically assaulted her. Riley declined to press charges, revealing that Lloyd suffered from paranoid schizophrenia and hadn't been taking his medication at the time. She would also later state that the former child actor had a symptom called anasonosia, meaning that he was unaware of his mental health condition. In June of that same year, Lloyd, who went by the surname Broadbent, was arrested in South Carolina. The sheriff's office had been alerted to a reckless driver. Lloyd sped away upon being approached by law enforcement and a chase ensued on Interstate 95. During the pursuit, Lloyd reportedly drove at upwards of 100 miles. He crashed through a fence and went off-road, ultimately coming to a halt after crashing in some small trees. Lloyd was charged with reckless driving, driving without a license, and resisting arrest. He wasn't released on bail and was eventually transferred to a psychiatric facility. In 2020, his family announced that he'd moved closer to them and continued receiving treatment for his condition. Number 6. Haley Joel Osment Haley Joel Osment began his acting career in the mid-1990s portraying Forrest Gump's son in the eponymous film that went on to win six Academy Awards. He rose to further prominence through the psychological thriller The Sixth Sense, which earned him an Academy Award nomination of his own and by starring in Steven Spielberg's AI Artificial Intelligence. Osmond, who was still in his early teens, had become one of Hollywood's most recognizable faces. As his once blooming career slowed in its ascension, Osmond reportedly began struggling with substance abuse. One of his most notable legal troubles was a car accident in the summer of 2006 when he was only 18 years old. He lost control of his 1995 Saturn while driving through Glendale, California, then struck a mailbox which caused his vehicle to flip over. He managed to exit the Saturn on his own after suffering a broken rib and a fractured shoulder blade. Osmond faced several charges that stemmed from him having had a blood alcohol level nearly twice the legal limit and for being in possession of marijuana. He faced jail time and ultimately pleaded no contest to driving under the influence of alcohol and misdemeanor drug possession. He was sentenced to five years probation, fined in order to undergo 60 hours in an alcohol rehabilitation and education program. In more recent years, another incident involving Osmond took the form of a public meltdown at a Las Vegas airport in 2018. The child star, then age 29, started shouting obscenities in the gate agent's face upon being informed that the flight was full. He was quoted as threatening, I'll destroy you, and also shouting, do you know who I am? According to witnesses at the scene, many hadn't, in fact, recognized Osment. The authorities were called, but it's unclear what charges, if any, the former child actor faced. Number 5. Sean Weiss Although he's made appearance on several successful TV series, Sean Weiss is best known for his role as Greg Goldberg in the Mighty Ducks movies. The trilogy arguably represented the pinnacle of Weiss's acting career, but he would subsequently become the focus of media attention through a series of legal troubles, most noticeably since 2017. In July of that year, he was arrested for shoplifting close to $151 of electronics from a store. He pleaded no contest to petty theft charges and was sentenced to 150 days in the Los Angeles County Jail. Weiss served less than two weeks and was released due to overcrowding. Five days after his newfound freedom, he was taken into custody for methamphetamine possession and ordered to spend 90 days in jail. In August of 2018, Weiss was arrested for public intoxication, with his mugshot showing the toll the addiction had taken on his body. He looked emaciated and ashen, nearly unrecognizable from the goalie he'd portrayed in Mighty Ducks. 
Weiss's most recent encounter with law enforcement occurred in 2020, after he'd broken into a man's house while under the influence of methamphetamine. The actor then in his 40s looked gaunt and disheveled, as he was still struggling with substance abuse. According to updates on his situation, the latter arrest prompted him to get help and in early 2022, he celebrated two years of sobriety. Number 4. Devin Ratray Actor Devin Ratray had started acting professionally at the age of nine and worked on various movies before landing the role of Buzz McAllister, the older brother of Macaulay Culkin's character, Kevin, in the first two movies of the massively popular Home Alone series. He continued working steadily in the years that followed before he was arrested on domestic violence charges on December the 8th of 2021. Rat Ray, aged 44, was featured as one of the attractions at a convention in Oklahoma City. He'd reportedly gotten angry at his girlfriend, whose identity wasn't immediately released, for not charging two female fans for his autograph. Rat Ray had reportedly been drinking heavily, and when the couple returned to their room at the Hyatt Place, Oklahoma City, he reportedly attacked his girlfriend. He pushed her onto the bed, then placed one hand on her mouth and the other on her throat. He began choking her and allegedly said, this is how you die. The woman bit his hand and broke free, at which point Rat Ray punched her in the face repeatedly. The police were called and the victim was found to have sustained bruising and marks under both eyes, scrapes above her lip and a chest bruise. Rat Ray, who denied ever attacking her, was taken into custody on charges of battery by strangulation, a felony, as well as misdemeanor domestic assault and battery. Number 3. Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes began acting professionally at the age of seven, making stage appearances in several musicals before she was cast by Nickelodeon on its sketch comedy series All That from 1996 to 2000. She went on to star in a spin-off series called The Amanda Show before mainly focusing on a rather short-lived feature movie career. While still predominantly recognized as a former child actor, Bynes began struggling with substance abuse and drawing media attention through controversies and legal troubles. In 2012, a few years after she had stopped appearing in movies and on TV, she was charged with driving under the influence in West Hollywood. In 2013, she was charged with reckless endangerment and marijuana possession after being found smoking in the lobby of her Manhattan apartment building. The former charge stemmed from her allegedly throwing a bomb out the window of her 36th floor apartment, but the case was ultimately dismissed. Her family's concerns for her well-being increased in 2013 after Bynes was arrested in Ventura County, California, for starting a small fire in a stranger's driveway. She was hospitalized for 72 hours under a mental evaluation hold and her mother was subsequently granted a conservatorship of her affairs. In 2014, Bynes accused her father of abuse on Twitter. The latter maintained his innocence and the former child star subsequently stated that her father hadn't directly abused her, offering a peculiar reasoning by saying, the microchip in my brain made me say those things, but he's the one that ordered them to microchip me. Not long afterwards, she announced that she'd been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Bynes later apologized to her family for the tweets and in 2018 told the media that with the help of her parents, she was four years sober. Today's topic was requested by Mega Soundwave X. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Orlando Brown In spite of his attempts at cultivating a career in the music industry, Orlando Brown remained best known for his work as a child actor in the 1990s and 2000s. He appeared on The Jamie Foxx Show, Family Matters, and The Proud Family, as well as on Disney Channel's That's So Raven. In February of 2016, Brown was arrested after he'd hit his then-girlfriend in the parking lot of a police station. Officers took him into custody and found methamphetamine on him, which consequently led to Brown being charged with drug possession with intent to sell, in addition to domestic battery, for attacking his girlfriend. The former child actor then, in his late 20s, failed to appear in court and a warrant was issued for his arrest. Police eventually took him into custody in January of 2018 after responding to reports of a domestic disturbance at a residence in Barstow, California. The row involved Brown, his girlfriend, and the woman's mother. He was taken into custody on additional charges of drug possession and domestic battery and, once again, missed his court date. On April 13th, 
Bounty hunters apprehended him in Las Vegas, where they found him hiding in a homeowner's closet. Number 1. Danny Bonaduce Danny Bonaduce became famous in the 1970s as a child actor co-starring in the hit TV sitcom The Partridge Family. After the show, Bonaduce went on to have a moderately successful career in film, radio and television while also taking part in celebrity boxing events and professional wrestling bouts. Known for his choleric personality, Bonaduce had several run-ins with law enforcement in the early 1990s. He was arrested while trying to buy cocaine in Daytona Beach, Florida on March the 9th of 1990. In a dark, ironic twist, it emerged that Bonaduce was there hosting an event for Drug Abuse Resistance Education or DARE, a program aimed at educating children on the dangers of drugs. A little over a year later, in March of 1991, he was arrested for assaulting and robbing Darius Barney, a transvestite escort. The incident took place in Phoenix, Arizona and Barney reportedly suffered cuts and a broken nose. Bonaduce pleaded guilty to reduce charges and his punishment included paying his victims' medical bills. In October of 2007 at the Fox Reality Awards, there was an altercation between Bonaduce and Survivor contestant Johnny Fairplay. They were both on stage and Fairplay had reportedly jumped on the former child star to hug him. Bonaduce, a black belt in the Korean martial art of Tang Soo Do, subsequently claimed that he didn't like Fairplay's hands being so close to his throat. He adjusted his balance and threw the Survivor contestant over his head. Because he was holding a microphone at the time, Fairplay was unable to brace and landed face first. He staggered off the stage and was later reported to have lost some teeth in addition to suffering a broken toe. Fairplay pressed charges and a felony battery investigation was opened but ultimately dropped by the LA District Attorney's Office which concluded that Bonaduce had acted in self-defense. Thanks for watching. What famous child series or film do you think would have been better with yourself casting the leading role? Let us know in the comments section below.